Hello, boys and girls. Park time is such an exciting time at Birch Lane. It truly gives you all an opportunity to show off your reading muscles. I love to read all of the time, and I know most of you do as well. This year's theme, Reading Gives You Superpowers, is such an accurate statement. It's accurate because reading is something that we can do anywhere, and it has the ability to take us on so many different types of adventures anywhere in the world. When I think about reading as my superpower, I think back to when my children, Jessica and Ryan, were younger. And I used to read them the story, Good Night Moon, before they went to bed each night. It certainly was my superpower, because like magic, as soon as I was finished reading them the story, they fell fast asleep. I invite all of you to listen to this story, and I hope it works for you as well. So, throw on a comfortable pair of pajamas and listen to Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon by Margaret Weiss Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. In the great cream room, there was a telephone and a red balloon, and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs, and two little kittens and a pair of mittens, and a little toy house and a young mouse, and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush, and a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. And good night to you, boys and girls. Sweet dreams. Mm -hmm.